Yo, what is poppin' people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order, welcome back to the channel. In this video, guys, we're gonna be looking at the most popular effects for After Effects. So, uh, yeah, guys, we got ourselves a banger video here, um, a certified hood classic, if you will. But, uh, I guess let's just get right into the video, guys. So, um, I made a basic edit here, as you can see. This is just something I made in, like, an hour and a half, maybe. Um, it's just only one clip. It's really nothing too spectacular, you know? I'll just play it out. So, yeah, that's basically the whole clip. And, uh, basically for this video, I'm gonna be doing the popular effects that I use in this edit. But it'll be, like, more in, like, a video breakdown. Like, a VFX breakdown, almost. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, we're just gonna start off with the first effect. So, one of the first effects I used in this edit, as you will see, is the lens flare right here. Um, I actually manually tracked the lens flare because I was too lazy to use Mocha or Retrack or, you know, any other tracker, really. But, um, yeah, it's just manually motion tracked. Um, I think I did an okay job. I mean... Eh, kinda, but it's whatever, you know. So Optical Flares is a plugin created by Video Copilot, and I use it in so many different edits. It has a ton of different uses, as you can see, you can motion track the lens flare, you can manually track it, and it is fully customizable. So if you want to make a different lens flare, so as you can see, this is what it normally looks like without the hue effect on. But uh, I added hue to change the color because I'm too lazy to make my own lens flare and optical flares. But as you guys can see, you guys have so many different lens flares to choose from from and they're all fully customizable so if you want to like hide features on this like you know hide some features or you know you can make your entire you can make your entirely own like customizable lens for that's like your own personal one uh using the lens floor editor and it's really good so i recommend using this effect for sure um i definitely use it in like Eh, more than half of my edits, I'd say. But yeah, that's optical flares. Now let's move on to the next effect that I want to showcase. So the next effect is an effect I use in just about every single one of my edits, and it is Video Copilot's Twitch. Now Twitch is a, it's a really cool effect because you can do so many different things with it. You can do basically um, time for glitches to to RGB splitting to basically just scale glitches and overall just just some impacts. Honestly, you can do a lot of impacts on your shot. So what I did for this edit is I added it on the gunshots, as you can see, the little bouncing and the little light flicker and the little RGB splitting. That's all video co-pilots Twitch. So I added it on both shots, as you can see right here, the first shot and then the second shot too. I changed the seed on the second shot and I lowered the duration of it a little bit just to make it a little bit different than the first shot. But um, I really love this effect. It's honestly definitely in my top five favorite effects of all time. You just can't go wrong with video co-pilots Twitch. Yeah, it just adds so much more impact to your edit. Now, the next effect I want to showcase is one of my other favorite effects, and that is Pix Dither. Now, Pix Dither is a plugin that, um, it kind of does some, like, almost, like, it changes the color into, like, a way, like, you know, something like an old TV would look like or a Game Boy would look like. So, as you can see, you can distort the colors, and you can also make it, like, almost like a grid pattern. Not, not necessarily a grid pattern, but, like, a very, like, old school kind of retro feel. Now, as you guys can see, I did a three frame glitch here using Pix Dither. I changed the preset on it um, about three times. And there are so many different ones to choose from. Like we can just pick this one, see how this looks. Or we could do this one, see how that looks. As you can see, there's just a lot of things to do with it. You can even use it as a color correction. I've used Pix Dither as a color correction before in some old, old edits. But um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite effects. And if you don't use Pix Dither, I highly recommend you, you check it out. It's definitely something to look at. Now, the next effect I want to look at is a little bit more advanced. This is Trap Code Particular combined with Trap Code Form. So I have two layers right here. One has Particular. Um, or yeah, one has Particular one has form and these two effects go really well together so this is what the form does the form is like that little galaxy nebula effect and it's motion tracked onto my edit right here i also added these bcc lightning overlays over it just to add a little bit of impact on the shot it only appears for a frame or two but i feel like it makes a huge difference so with form in particular you can actually import 3d objects and with the new update that just came out you're actually able to import cinema 4d um, project files as well too but um i motion tracked the form in here as you can see it looks pretty cool um the particular is a lot more simpler 
it's just um you know some basic particles i think i used a preset because i only made this in like an hour and a half but um i really love these plugins these two effects are definitely in my top three favorite effects all right i think trap code particular is probably my number one favorite effect i kind of spam it in a lot of my edits but you know i'm working i'm trying to come up with new ideas to use it with you know there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it it's got fluid simulations a bunch of other cool stuff so i definitely recommend checking out trap code particular and trap code form and the last effect i want to showcase which in my opinion makes a big difference on certain cinematics is trap code shine now a lot of people use s rays or s edge rays which is which is fine you know there's a lot of alternatives but in my opinion i think trap code shine is one of the best definitely because with trap code shine you have so many options and there's so much stuff you can do with it so for trap code shine i just added it on the cinematic real quick i didn't really do much to it at all really it's just it's just kind of on the cinematic but as you can see without it it looks kind of a little weird yeah, without it, it looks super weird. Like, this doesn't really look that good. But with Trap Code Shine, as you can see, it makes a huge difference. So, I definitely recommend Trap Code Shine. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was kind of a short video, not my usual long tutorials. But I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the most popular effects and some of my favorite effects that I use in editing. Also, let me know if you think this should be a video series and if I should keep making, like, part 3 or part 4. Because honestly... I'm thinking about doing it in this style, making a basic edit, and then doing like a VFX breakdown and talking about the effects I used. And yeah, that's that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make videos about After Effects and other types of VFX. So uh, yeah, you don't want to miss them. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.